Listen, I'm just trying to keep the tradition alive of waiting a month after I say, hey, I'm gonna do a Q&A video to then releasing the Q&A video. So I went back on Twitter, I said, ask me some questions, and now I'm going to answer them. It took me so long to get to this that I tweeted this out like three times, so <laughs> we got a lot to go through, but I don't know how many I'll get through. What are my thoughts on Angsty Teen? Uh, it was a nice little short joke, again, like most of Hen Unit's little one-off jokes at the start of each night, I don't think it was supposed to be anything serious. It was it was fun while it lasted. And even still, like, it cut out when, like, a couple minutes after the night started. So it wasn't there long. What inspired me to do YouTube and what keeps me motivated? All you guys keep me motivated. I'm not even joking. Again, I say this all the time. The support has been incredible. I can't thank you guys enough. What inspired me to start doing YouTube? I don't know, I just really enjoyed it, it helped me through some of my dark times, and hopefully I can do the same with some of you guys out there watching with my videos. My favorite video I've recorded is probably the commentary video on those guys who did like the Chuck E. Cheese 3am challenge or whatever it was. Again, I say this all the time, but patting myself on the back, I think I was really funny in that video. Um, as for editing wise, it would probably be 150 facts. What's my favorite FNAF line of merchandise? It's, it's the Pops. Right? I don't know why, I just really like the pops. Ever since I've started doing YouTube, or like, professionally you could say, I have been getting back into FNAF merchandise because I've had to buy all like the security breach plushies and action figures and mystery mystery minis and all that stuff, so I have been getting back into getting merchandise, which is really exciting. Much like speedrunning, it's a nice little hobby to have going on in the background. Though, as you guys may know, if you are a FNAF merchandise collector, Stuff gets expensive really fast. If I had to delete two FNAF games, what would they be? Good question. I like all the FNAF games for different reasons. I'm sure people would say, you know, FNAF World and then, I don't know, Freddy in Space 2, but that's not what I would pick. I don't know, it's really hard because they all, again, they're all good in their own separate ways. Right, the first four are iconic. FNAF World helps Scott, you know, Learn not to take his community for granted, I'm pretty sure he said. Sister location, like, revolutionized the franchise. FNAF 6 wrapped everything up. UCN was a damn good game. I don't care what you say, UCN's very pug champ. I don't know, maybe like FNAF AR <laughs> and something else. Definitely not Freddy in Space 2 because that gave like half a million dollars to St. Jude, so if you said FNAF, Freddy in Space 2, you done messed up. What's my favorite set of animatronics? The OGs, toys, phantoms, nightmares, etc. Personally, and I think I made a tweet about this a little while ago, the phantoms are so, like, underrated. I think the idea of having past characters, right, from the past two games come back to haunt you in the third installment, it was such a good idea. Maybe it was executed pretty poorly, but I, I still think that is, like, a fantastic idea. And I don't care what you say, I really do like the Phantoms. I like their designs, I like some of their jump scares. I just like the idea of the Phantoms while the execution may not be there. As for my favorite set, I don't know. I'm very interested by the Glamrocks right now just because they are so different from what we see. They're just so different from anything we've seen previously for the past, like, six years, so... I'm very curious to see what they're gonna be like. Do I think Dreadbear is a version of Freddy or a version of Fredbear or just its own bear? I don't know, it's hard to tell with Dreadbear and FNAF VR because it's such a meta game, right? The whole purpose of the game is to say the FNAF games are canon to the FNAF, you know, storyline. So I think Dreadbear is what like the Jackos are to the Nightmare characters, if that makes any sense. Um, but that's not really your question. Do I think he's based off of Freddy or Fredbear? I don't know, probably Fredbear. FNAF game, favorite FNAF AR skin, and favorite video game that's not FNAF. Favorite FNAF game, 100% FNAF Help Wanted, no doubt about it. Favorite FNAF AR skin, Bear Endoskeleton Flamethrower, I've said this many times. And then favorite video game that's not FNAF. You know, it's kind of changed recently. Like I've said previously, I've been getting back into just casually gaming on my own time because I'm a gamer. And I've been playing a lot of games like Smash Bros, I've been playing Resident Evil 3, but my favorite video game series that isn't FNAF, it's gotta be Portal. I grew up with Portal, it's such an amazing franchise, I can play those games over and over and over again, just like how 
Whose line was that? Nightmare Yon with tasting death over and over and over again. How much longer do you think FNAF Yo will last until it loses most of its interest? I definitely do think it's coming up on it, which is unfortunate because they haven't done a whole lot with the game. Like, they've added in a few characters, but in, like, the overall cast of animatronics in the franchise, they've, like, done a drop in the bucket. Also, like, there are no new modes, the gameplay's still mostly the same. They have so much to do, but it's already been over, like, a year and two months at this point that the game has been out, so... I don't know, man. I mean, I hope they get back into releasing Pog Champ stuff for the game very soon, but especially with the break that they just had, if they don't do it soon, I feel like it's probably gonna die out this year. Which is quite unfortunate, because, again, I, like, there's so much more they have to do, there's so much more they can do that they could do, but, I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see. What is my sub goal slash next sub goal on YouTube, and how often do you think you're gonna stream on Twitch this year? I don't really have a sub goal on YouTube, um, more just keep uploading videos that I'm happy with. According to Social Blade, I'm supposed to end the year with a little under 30k subs. I would like to see maybe if we could push 50k, I doubt it would happen, but it's... I guess that's a goal that I could set. But again, it's mostly just keep uploading things that I'm happy with, keep, you know, bringing out content. And as for Twitch, I do plan on streaming quite a bit on Twitch this year. It's another platform that I kind of want to build upon, right? I've got YouTube. I've become pretty content with Twitter at this point. I mean, I'm nearly at a thousand followers. So Twitch is kind of like my next platform I want to tackle. I can't give a schedule because I just... I literally can't make a schedule, but definitely at least, hopefully, one or two times a week. Hopefully. That is the goal. Knowing me, maybe it won't be met, but that is my goal. What is my opinion on socks with Crocs? I'll be honest, I don't really like Crocs. I just... They're weird. I don't get shoes that have like openings in them, like sandals and Crocs. The point of shoes is to protect your feet. If there are gaps in my shoes, how are my feet being protected? My favorite FNAF voice, I don't know. Usually I like to go with Rockstar Bonnie just because I, I find the direction Scott went with his voice so unique and so good. But really, and you know, going along with my favorite FNAF character overall, Mangle has a really good voice as well. Really, quite a few of the characters. I would say almost all the characters who have a voice have a really good one. I know you play Fortnite, and I do. Doesn't matter if you don't like the game, I like what I like, you don't like what you don't like, and vice versa. <laughs> so I also wanted to know if you played Apex. I gave Apex a try, um, I don't know if they've changed it, because I haven't played since. But I played it way, way back in the day when it was like, first releasing and becoming popular. And you needed like, three people to play, like there was no solo mode, at least from what I understood. So then I gave up and I just never went back. <laughs> That's a, that is my experience with Apex. Ever plan on getting a YouTube's like Darko, Raz, and 8-Bit Ryan? If so, would it be you or Jenny as the YouTube's? Just idea boggling here. It would be cool to get a U2s. Not for a long, long time though, because that's just their rules basically. I don't know if it would be me or Jenny. Again, if Jenny survives until that point, who knows? But again, it'll be a long time if I ever get a U2s. Which FNAF trailer is my favorite? That is quite a good question. Maybe like the third one or the second one. <laughs> Yeah, definitely the second or third one. I like the atmosphere of both, and they also have like mad nostalgia feelings for me, so I really can't pick between those two, but definitely FNAF 2 or FNAF 3. Would you want Sanshi to make more merch of characters that haven't been made by Funko yet, plushies, and how excited are you for S? Be. I am so unbelievably excited for Security Breach. At this point, I'm just waiting till March. We got like one more month to go. Uh, and yeah, I would love to see Senshi come back and make characters that haven't been made by Funko yet. Probably some that have a lot more detail, because it seems like Senshi might be a bit better at making plushies than Funko. Do I care for FNAF AR at all? Yes, I do. I just find the fact that the game mostly hasn't changed besides a few new characters and too many skins uh, after like a year and a couple months on the market, so. That's my main problem with it, is it's just, it's static. Joke fully implied. It's static on Sephiroth in Smash. I don't play a lot of Sephiroth because he's just not really my type of character, but I do really, really like the fact that we got another Final Fantasy rep. And it added so much more than Cloud did when Cloud came into the games. So I'm really happy about that. Now we're just waiting for a Freddy Me costume. Have I ever planned on doing videos that are not FNAF related, like Minecraft gameplay or Smash Bros? I mean, I've thought of doing that, and at some point I did do that with Phasmophobia, 
But let's be real here, boys. That video kind of tanked. That's not gonna stop me though. I still want to do other indie horror games like Bendy, uh, Baldi, DDLC. I've mentioned all these in the past. It's just at this point, I am a little nervous to do it with how badly the Phasmophobia video did, but it, you know, it's my channel. I do what I want. Do I think SV will be $60? I don't think so. At least I hope not. Because that is, that's a lot of money. I think I mentioned this in the past, but I think anywhere between 30 to 40 uh, US dollars would probably be the ideal amount because 60 bucks, that's a lot, right? That is Nintendo levels of amount of money to buy for a game. What do I want my channel to be in the future in any big plans? As of right now, I'm just kind of going with what we've been doing. News videos, update videos, reviewing stuff that comes out like merchandise, uh, you know, the new books, all that stuff. Occasionally fan games, but not really anymore. Any big plans? I am working on some videos that are taking a bit more time than traditional, like, news videos. And most of these big videos require writing scripts, you know, they involve other people, and they require a lot more editing and time to be put into them. So yeah, I'm working on a few videos. I made a tweet about it. Um, like what big projects I'm working on. There should be hopefully quite a few coming out this month of February, so stay on the lookout for that. So that's it, that's it, that is it. Thanks for, I don't know why I said that three times. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's the Q&A video. I'll wait a bit longer till the third one. If there are still questions to be asked, maybe we'll do this after the, uh, the gameplay trailer for SB and we can talk about that then. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.